Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> my saggies, my saggies. Let's see what she's up to. First half of November. Oh my gosh. And I know it's January when I was saying November. Um, was it you I did that with last time too? I can't remember. I can't remember. All right, my little saggies. <clears throat> I almost said to myself, feeling cornered. <laughs> like, it's like, you're in the corner. Like, who put my sadness in the corner? I don't know what that's all about. You definitely have something going on. Some type of surprise. Some type of mystery. Some type of something. Things are definitely chaotic the next couple weeks. Or you're in it now. So we'll see what happens. Okay. But some type of, um, something that's just kind of like... Oh, uh-huh. All right. All right. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what you're looking at. My little Saggies. I don't know if you're dealing with Taurus because I almost have my little Tauridians. There's a reason why I'm doing everything in order. So, Sagittarius. First half of January 2019. My little hot tamales. My little firecrackers. Ooh, you guys are being sarcastic. Lots of sarcasm. Lots of sarcasm. Wow, they got a lot to say. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right, my son's about to come in here and interrupt. What's up, Buttercup? What'd you say to me? I didn't say nada. When I have my headphones on. I didn't say anything. No, like 20, 15 minutes ago? Um, when I told you I was leaving, I'd be right back? No, like after. Like when you were just talking to me like five minutes ago. I said hi. That's it? Yeah. So it's not like a video. Oh, yeah, I said I was doing a video. I don't know what you're saying. Might as well say hi to everybody since you just interrupted. Hi. Hey, see you later. <laughs> All right, let me do some math before I even look at the, these numbers. <sighs> okay. So, all about new directions, where we're going, finding the balance. Um, there's definitely communication that's needed here. Who's going to pass judgment on who? It's the planning. It, it's it's more or less the change. The change needs to come first so you can find the balance, okay? Yeah, there's conflict. We're worried. To me, this is this Seven of Cups energy for me lately is more or less. It's not even confusion. It's it begins with a C. Um. can't think of it but regardless you're conflicted whether or not to have a new start all right to me you're coming up as the king of pence you're you're in that solid earth energy okay um you're coming in strong in that cappy energy you want to move forward you just obviously this is the change okay it looks like somebody needs to apologize whether it's you or somebody else but you're worried about it you're worried about this new start i think you've been hanging around way too long Okay, wondering what it is you're going to do about the situation. I don't normally find you guys in this type of situation. Let's see what you're worried about. Well, you're worried about the new stat. Let's see what the confusion is that I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. It's like contemplating. I feel like you're contemplating more than anything. Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. The sun. So you don't even have clarity yet. Or you have the clarity and that's why you don't know what to do. Is there been growth? I think someone's worried about their health here too. But more or less, I think you're just worried about that new stat. Super conflicted. You got grounding energy, which is great. You guys normally don't contemplate like that. 
So I don't know if you need to apologize or somebody needs to apologize to you. Tell me about this page of pens. This is actually a message to have a, to have a new stat. It's, it's like a messenger. Okay, but whoa. Queen of Pence. So it's almost like you're dealing with a life partner. So you're worried about the Queen of Pence right now. Whether or not you can have a new start with this person. You gotta stand your ground too. Taurus just had that energy. But this is, I feel like this is the opposite energy. Like my Tibetans were solid, but you're solid too, okay? But you're, you're more worried. They weren't worried about that. But they're going to have to stay on their ground. So apparently so don't you. It's that contradicting energy. And I said not contradicting. But now this is what, exactly where I see it. Okay. I'm What's up? It's been like two hours since I had lunch. So. It just made you a snack when I'm you gonna, came I'm home. home. I'm going to make supper what, soon. What Have a little bowl of cereal. A little bowl. Please stop interrupting. I love you. That's the last one. Um... Let's get your best advice, but there's a reason why I told you spirit has me going in order because it is, it's also the order of the planets, guys, so make sure you're watching all of them, okay? But you're just as solid as this person, but you both, you both got very firm, very firm beliefs here. Very firm belief system. I don't know if you can it grow, can it not grow, confusion, clarity. <sighs> that's that's the that's what's like what is that cluster? Tell me about the sun and the seven of cups again. The sun and the seven of cups, please. See, it's just it's that decision. All up in your head. And when that decision came in for Taurus, they were gonna be all up in their head too. Okay, but it seems like you're all up in your head whether or not to go whether or not to have this new stat you're just waiting so my sagis are waiting but you're in solid energy please go watch taurus it's like screaming at me taurus heavy heavy taurus whether they have taurus in them or not everybody has it you're just unaware of it okay because this is almost the same scenario but it's the opposite person coming in so it's like my sag going to my taurus it's that sag energy it's the travel do I go? Do I not go? Best advice for my Saggies. It's the Queen of Earth, and that's where you're going to. But they're saying go in the same way. You know, make time for those around you. Go go in with a, sens a, sens a sensible approach. Deal with your challenges in a very understanding manner. Okay, and if that's the case and you're going in and she's got the same energy, that's that's good. You guys will mesh. There'll be a lot of understanding. There'll be a lot of compromising, okay? So that's great. The bottom of the deck, we got the emperor. <laughs> so yeah, the emperor coming in with the knight of cups, okay? So have that strength, all right? It, it's, it's structure. It's discipline. It, it's leadership. So it's saying stop doing this. Stop waiting around. Go. Okay, go after this person. Um, let me pull you a lesson. I know before I was doing 2018 lessons, but I, I stopped doing it, so I'm just going to pull a lesson for this right now. I guess it was only needed for a certain zodiacs, okay? Um, but your lesson now, my Saggies. I feel like they're going to spit two at me. I should have took those. Don't contemplate too much longer. They're telling you to go. Okay. Put some pep in the step. Be assertive. And go after it. Stop with the worry. You need to understand. It's one of your lessons right now that you're worrying. Push through that karmic lesson. And stop worrying. You don't know the outcome until you get there. Okay. I don't know what happened. But there's a little regret. But don't, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Just go towards it, okay? I'm going to pull you a Ganesha. I think you can heal. I, I think you can feel this person being apprehensive, to be honest with you. 
but that's still not the word I was looking for. But I mean, this is apprehensive energy for sure. So it looks like you're both kind of in the same boat. But I love you guys' energy. Sagis, going on, Sagis. Achievement, okay? It, it's reaching your goals. It, it's almost like the the emperor energy, staying disciplined, going after it. Stop waiting around. Stop putzing. Okay. Achievement. You are surrounded by an abundance of prosperity, luxury, quality, prestige, sophistication, value, and elegance. Many stories of Ganesha has two wives. I can't say their names. Okay. But one success, one is prosperity. The symbol of these two women indicate... When you walk the path of Ganesha, success, prosperity is guaranteed along your side. The search of material success right now brings a treatment through your spiritual goals. Ganesha wishes you to realize those by actively developing your spirituality and your conscious by working together with the divine to bring an experience, positive flow, effects in the areas of your existence. When you stay connected in the spiritual nature, you have a more serene mind developed your perception of yourself. This attitude will give you an open heart when it comes to spiritual matters. A high level of self-mastery coupled with high practice will increase the likelihood of enjoying material success. As a people discovering the rewards of this dynamic and fulfilling spiritual life, the success is to become more norm than society and not have expectations of other people and the individuals. The more relationships among humans bring development into two kinship into the present kinship. Humanity can achieve beyond the present limits, knowledge, material measures, and success. Part of the brotherhood governed by love, working towards building happier, more loving, and productive situations. So it's, it's, like, being at, it's like being at the whole two minds and, and worried about this spirituality. It was, it's standing in your beliefs. So it's like the Taurus too, because it's like you guys have different beliefs. But right now the biggest message is, because they're saying you're a little worried about materialistic stuff. You, you, you are a little materialistic. Okay, they're not saying it in a bad way as long as it's not getting the best of you. But you like material stuff. They're saying that's going to come as you proceed and step forward and stop waiting. We had that on my board for a long time too. Materialistic lifestyles, okay? But what they're saying is, if you want that, this is what brings it. And unfortunately, until you clear up karma, that is a situation. It's a thing, okay? So the best advice I can give you is stop, stop worrying. Let's see where you were last year. I thought that pen was going to come out. Let's see where you were last year. Participation is needed. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if you're in the same situation or not. But if you are, have you really been dragging this out for a whole year? I would hope not. But in some cases, I guess it's possible. And now it's getting the best of you. You could have been avoiding something for a long time. For some. Because it was kind of like they were pushing me to check last year's around the same time, you know. So it, it, somehow it's got to be linked. The cycle's over. It's time to start new. You have to go towards this. Stop putzing around. Make the decision. You got a life partner right in front of you. And you're worried if you can have this new start. So instead of being worried about how the outcome's going to end up, just go towards it. And see if this person will have a new start with you. Don't let nothing hold you back. Okay? This is love. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my back. I just did something again. That Emperor. Same person. Go after it. Temperance. Go, go balance it out. That is like the Two of Cups. Go heal. It's time to heal something, okay? The divine 
The divine is with you right now. Yeah. Go, you, you need to heal. You need to have the confidence to move forward. You need to stop waiting. You want the reconciliation. Go after it. it, it it's healed. Stop. Stop going over your head over and over and over. What happened? It's, it's no good. Go have a new start. You're holding on to the past. Let it go. And you're still holding on to this empress, which is probably her. Or it's a past relationship that is no good for you. Okay. But there's this woman that you want to go to. Let's see what she's up to. Tell me about the Queen of Pence. But, you, you know, you're trying to control the situation, too. She's a strong cappy. She's got strong cappy in her chart. I, I just got the goosebumps when I said it. So I know that's just cappy energy. And it's also a beautiful bond. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. The Prada is devil. The devil is Prada. The Prada is devil. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. She's like a little she devil. You hate her, you love her. You hate her, you love her. She frustrates the shit out of you. But you love her. But you love her. She's also a magician. Woo wee. So. Go talk. You need to talk. You need to have a conversation here. Okay. You're not messing with the. You're not messing with just anybody. Not this one. She knows how to. She knows how to get things done. It's very understanding energy. She's also no joke. I mean, she's coming up as the devil and the magician. Woo wee. That's like two beasts. <laughs> That's like I said. You love her. You hate her. You love her. You hate her. Maybe you don't hate her. But she frustrates the shit out of you. She gets the best of you. She pulls at your strings. Or vice versa. I, I, I'm i going by the gender and the card. She's still a life partner. You still love her. You still love her. You admit it. Admit it. Admit it. Go after what you love. Bye, guys.